Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, September 26th, week number... 95. He got it. Good job. I got it. <laughs> All righty. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, we are? Yeah, it was a, kind of a different kind of a week for us this week. Uh, I ended up twisting up my ankle pretty good. I pretty was pretty sure I broke it, and we went in for an x-ray, and it wasn't broken. Okay. Just a really bad sprain. Um, so that slowed me down a little this week. Yes. Yeah. I was not able to get my bike in. I tried to pedal slowly and that didn't work and uh, kind of found myself more chair bound yes. with my foot up nice on it quite a bit. I had to keep yelling at him to make sure he was doing that because he's like, oh, I'm fine. Funny part is we live in a ranch and I only have two stairs that go from the house, the laundry room to the garage. And I was going down the stair and I went to go hit the door for the garage door to open. And as I turned to do that, my foot hit the stair and what, and I ended up on the ground. But nothing broke, so I'm good. Just gotta heal up. It's a little sore. <laughs> it put me back a little this week, but that's okay. All right, you hey, last yours. week, yeah, last week I was 325.4, which was a huge drop for me. I think it was five pounds plus yeah. last week. And gosh, I hadn't really even done much different. I, I was doing my OMAD and uh, one meal a day, and I did one day of fasting. And this week I was able to get one week of fasting, uh, one day of fasting in, and I did OMAD for two, two of those days. Um, but this morning's weight was 326, so I was up 0.6 overall. Um, maybe the inactivity of not being able to, to move as much yeah. as, because I was busting butt last week. I was like making myself purposefully do things because yeah. I just wanted to be up, moving, active, get my steps in. Um, yeah, and this week I got kind of kind of sidelined a little, but a little. you know, could still lift weights with my arms and still do things standing limited, and I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, you get good weeks, you get bad weeks. Absolutely, and, and I wouldn't even call this a bad week. I didn't like go crazy and. Do dumb things. I just no, kind of got sidelined a little. <laughs> it's called life. <laughs> exactly. So last week I weighed in at 137.2, and this morning I weighed in at 137.6. So I'm up 0.4. Um, had another uh, injection of steroids. Uh, yesterday was the first time in two years I came home sick. I came home four hours after my shift started. Um, yeah, I don't recall you ever calling in before. Do you, you you went to work, though. I went to work. Um, I did the shot, then went right to work. And for whatever reason, they did it under x-ray guidance today, yesterday. So they were able to put more medicine in there. And for whatever reason, I, I'm extremely sore. My shoulder is stiff. Um I don't know. So they, and they warned me, they said, if you track anything, your blood pressure might be higher, your pulse might be higher, your weight might be higher. Oh, because of the steroids. Because of the steroids. Okay. Um, I guess they put considerably more in this time. The last shot lasted almost three months. So oh. Um, oh. I'm, I'm hopeful that this will last even longer. Yeah, um, let's cross our fingers yeah. for it. Yeah. Uh, they, they looked at me like I had two heads yesterday when I said, I'm going to go home early. So, but it's the first time in two years. Yeah. Well, so, we'll get you feeling better. Yeah. We'll take it easy. It's getting there. But other than that, I think it was a good week. We got lots of stuff done around the house. Um, I didn't get my video done like I was hoping. Um, things just went to one project that took much longer than we thought it was going to, but it's completely done. And uh, yeah, we've got a few projects that are lingering um, for... Well, more than I want to say, but I did take the opportunity and the time to um, kind of pay back. Uh, Stacy works so hard and she does so much, and I was uh, looking for an alternative for our deck for her to have something fun, and she really enjoys sitting out on the deck, but there's really not a lot of time that she gets to do that. So I found something that we used to have a long time ago. And I bought her a porch swing. So I spent the day <laughs> building that. Yes. And I put that out there on the deck for her. And uh, it'll hold like 750 pounds. So, yeah. I mean, we can both go out there and swing and stuff. Just got to get the time to go, you know, a little bit of 15 minutes here and there. Yeah. Get out there and I enjoy I love it. swinging on a swing. When we moved a few years, oh gosh, probably seven years it's, ago now. Oh, it's been more than it's that. It's been more day. than that. But we... 
uh, weren't sure where we were going, what kind of space we were going to have, and right, so we sold, sold our, our swing. swing, and that was probably the saddest day. Um, yeah, I thought I think at that point we were even looking into like condos and apartments, and right. not really having much of a yard or an opportunity to have that stuff. Right. So we let it go and figured we'll pick another one up someday. And uh, someday was last week. Yes. <laughs> so I'm super excited. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, you're welcome. You deserve it. I came it. home and I got right on the swing <laughs> and was out there for a few minutes. And uh, it was in between jobs. So I only had a few minutes, but it was heaven to be out there swinging. Yeah, Stacy's hard to buy for. Um, when Whenever it comes birthdays or holidays or something, I try and get things that I know that she uses and appreciates. A lot of her Bath and Body products or her candles. She likes particular scented candles. I like the berry um, scents. Yeah, the berry stuff. And, uh, you know, just want to get something that was just purely for you. So, But you'll you'll use it with me, right? Sure, sure. I'll come swing with you. Yeah, Lauren actually came out and swung with me for a little bit. Yeah. Um, so that was really nice. Um, yeah, really yeah. fun little swing. Just jumped on Walmart.com and had them deliver it. Actually, they delivered it. <laughs> Funny story, they delivered it, and I was out working on our generator, and I saw the FedEx guy come up and everything. I'm like, oh, cool, Swing's here. Um, I walk around from the generator. He's already gone, and they delivered a metal bunk bed. <laughs> so I'm like on the phone, hey, something's not right. This is not what I ordered. So then they picked that up, and then they sent the Swing, and it was the right one. So, uh, yeah, silly little funny. story. Yeah. I came well, home and I was like, why is there a bunk bed in the garage? <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was a mistake and they came and picked it up. Um, I had started the search for some Zevia and for some of the, I'm probably saying it wrong, the Bi, B-A-I drinks. I just kind of want something a little different and not a Diet Pop so much. Um, but I didn't have any luck. I looked. Yeah. We were at Walmart and I was looking everywhere thinking they had it for sure. And I couldn't find it. Yeah. Maybe they just sold out or it was in a spot that I didn't look in the right spots. I was looking by Propel. I was looking by Pop. I was looking by Water and yeah. uh, like the Gatorades and stuff. And I just never found it. So I'll just keep the search up. Maybe Kroger will have something. Yeah, we'll check Kroger. We're, we're pretty much out of everything in the refrigerator. We don't even have eggs right now. So maybe today's just a day of fasting because I don't feel like walking in and out of the stores if my yeah. ankle is not feeling up to it. I'm just a slacker. So, yeah. No, you're busy. <laughs> you're busy. I get it. I will go but shopping though. It's not like we can't find something to eat. But Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so it was a good week overall. Um, the numbers don't reflect losses like I would like it. And I don't understand why last week was a five. Yeah. You know, but I'll take the five. <laughs> just <laughs> right. keep it. Just keep going down. It's like a stock chart. You go like this, and you get a little dip, and you get a little up, and you get a little down. That's real life. It happens. Yeah, yeah. We're not the the Instagram, you know, success story of dropping a hundred pounds in three weeks. Yeah, but you know okay. what though? I think a lot of times when people do that, they tend to gain it back. We've been pretty consistent. That's true. Two years and, now, and almost two years. Yeah. I uh, haven't really seen, uh, you know, other than up two and down four and things like that. Yeah. I haven't really seen an increase like, oh, I'm back up 22 pounds now or nothing like that. Yeah. Um, and and I think one of the bigger things, too, is I am off metformin. I'm not taking it anymore. Um, gosh, if you were to go back two years ago here to December 2018 when we yeah. started this, I was on 140 grams of insulin. Uh, units of the insulin a day. I was on 2,000 metformin. I was maxed on all these medicines. Yeah. And I was still getting three and 400 sugars. My sugars are like 160, 180. Not great. Not, you know, not not diabetic. Right. However, I'm not on any medicines. Comparatively speaking, with all the medicines and the sugars were sky high. Oh, yeah. Um, there were days we, they were like, we consider you to go to the emergency room here at 500 or 480 or something. Yeah. And I, that was on all those medicines and all that crap. So a lot of it has to do with just what, you what you're eating, how you're eating, and what you're doing. Yeah, so, absolutely. And I wasn't even drinking Mountain Dew and eating Doritos all day or anything like that. It was just, you know. Frozen pizza or yeah, whatever. Convenience foods. Convenience foods. A lot of frozen breaded things like, you know, yeah. breaded chickens and pastas. Like that. Banquet breaded chicken. You know, I think if I had a piece of that now, it probably would really kind of not 
be that worth be it. Good, yeah. And that be as good. Yeah. I Cause agree. Because I, I like the things I'm making now. My air fryer died. Aw. You got a new one coming. I, I do have another one coming. There's a company out there. Um, Omo is their name. And they are sending me an air fryer and they want us to do a review on it. So I said, absolutely, because my air fryer melted. It was so, perfect timing. I mean, within like a day yeah, of perfect. the air fryer dying. <laughs> yes, like the next day. I was like, man, I got to find another air fryer. And I was looking at the Ninjas and I would like, I like the Ninja. There was yeah. one at Costco that looked really interesting and everything. And um, this one company called us and actually reached out by email and said, hey, we, you know, watch your videos and we Wondered if you might want to review our air fryer. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I have a book already. Yeah, I have a book for the <laughs> library. Uh, air fryer uh, recipes. Yep. So we're going to flip through that, get a couple ideas. And I believe that the air fryer itself comes with a little recipe book too. It does. So we're going to give that a try. We're gonna, I mean, good, bad, or otherwise, it'll sit here and we'll <laughs> plug it in or we'll do it up in the kitchen. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, I'll show you what that's like, and it's supposed to be huge. It's I'm almost afraid to see the size of it. I think it's 17 quarts, yeah, if I read that right. Big, yeah. It was, you could put a whole chicken in it and spin the chicken. Yeah. Like, that was kind of intriguing. But I just want my wings and stuff. I want my basics. But, but we'll play with that recipe book and see what else we can find, too. It should be fun. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I am, too. Yeah. Well, hey, everybody. Hope you all have a great week. And if you're sticking with keto, stick with it. And I hope, you know, you're you're getting your results. And for me, even on a week like this where I'm not getting the results, looking back and thinking back, I mean, heck, this is a probably over 20-year-old shirt. It's a 3X. And it was in my closet for at least 10 to 15 years where I couldn't fit into it because right. I was a 5, 6X. And, uh, yeah, I got lots of room in this shirt. And it's a three. <laughs> Yay! You know, so so you gotta look at sometimes you gotta look at it from other angles, like yes. the medicines, like me being on much less medicine, no medicine now. Right. Um, that's I never would have thought two years from when I started this that I'd be able to sit here and say, I'm not on any medicines and my sugars are a third of what they used to be. Right. Yeah. So I'll I'll take those as little mini victories, non scale victories. And, yes. You know, keep pushing on. I'm doing the um, one meal a day type of thing a couple times a week. And then yeah. one day I try and get in a fast. So those things are helping. And on the natural side, I'm taking some cinnamon. I'm taking some berber, berberine. I'm probably saying it wrong still. <laughs> and also some apple cider vinegar. And I'm doing that by capsule because I uh, couldn't do the actual swig of the apple cider vinegar. Although a friend of, our, a friend of ours, Wendy, gave me some tips on like putting a little bit of things into that and mixing it up. I think it was monk fruit drops and something else, um, to, lemon maybe, to, to really change the taste of it. I haven't got the... Um, courage. Courage, yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I'm thinking, you know, next time I'm at the store, I'll buy the little thing, apple cider vinegar, the smallest yeah. one, and uh, try it in a little shot glass. Because uh, I, I bet you that's even better than the capsule forms. But, yeah, you know, those things are all supposed to help combat your uh, sugars. So I'm, I'm trying the natural routes and, you know, trying to just eat better. Yeah. And, that, and we and I eat pretty basic. And I, and I heard, last week I heard, because I really don't see you a whole lot. I think people don't realize it. But I heard that you're um, doing Carb Manager again? Yeah, I had started back up on my Carb Manager. And, um, cool. I, and I noticed that when I do the Carb Manager... I tend to be more conscious of my fats because that's my issue. I don't get enough fats in. Yeah, get like two mm. two little uh, ounces of nuts and stuff. Yeah. Those help. I love my nuts and my cheese. Um, so uh, an egg salad. So those things it's, are all with the mayo and the, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So, but I do notice that I tend to try to be more conscious of my fats. My protein, I don't hit carbs. I'm usually. Kind of on on the within my limits, but on the higher side, it's the fats that I don't tend to get enough in. But I chucked up my cheese and see. I have to be careful with the carbs because of the I don't I don't want anything to affect. I try and stay with total carbs versus net carbs. Yeah, um, I'm not a real big. I guess I just feel very 
self-conscious of that. Like it's yeah. going to cause problems with my sugars and I'm still battling with that stuff more so than uh, maintaining anything because I still want to lose. And right. So I'm trying to be a little more strict on that. I'll, I'll just go like basic diced ham and eggs yeah. or something. Just simple. Carry gold butter. Get me my mm-hmm. fats and go from there. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I'll do it again and I'll say... Because we always do that. We ramble a lot. But, you know, we always get the, the main stuff out in the beginning. And then that way, if somebody's still sticking around, well, you know, let us know in the comments what you think. But, yeah. So, uh, everybody have a great week. And I hope your week was a good week and successful and you're able to stay focused on the keto and everything. And uh, we're going to keep keep on keeping on. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Oh, that kind of hurt my 1977. Mind. All over again, right? No. No. Okay. Okay. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.